Alright, welcome back. Today I have something different prepared for you. Now, in the game at the moment we only have the ground battles and we have the the ships. Let me quickly show you that. So, yeah, ships and tanks. The air mode is still under development. Uh, mostly because of the controls, since the aircraft controls are kind of kind of rough, although it's not that bad once you get used to the current controls that we have in the game. And on the controls here, uh, you do have a option to go with aircraft, so that's basically, this is basically how it looks. And this is my default, uh, default layout. Now in the future I believe that they will enable gyroscope, and I think I'll be playing the the aircraft mode with the gyroscope enabled, but that is still uh, up to debate on what I will do. But today I'll be uh, I'll be playing uh, a well, not exactly aircraft mode, but I have a very nice compilation with aircraft uh, with aircraft gameplay, and I have to say I really love how the aircraft works so far. It's been awesome quite enjoyable and action-packed. Definitely um, feels different than playing tanks and I can, I'm, I'm very happy that they do give you the, the chance to fly an aircraft within the tank battle. But you know with that being said let's jump in the let's jump in the combat or should I say let's take off since you know we have to take off in order to fly. Okay enough of the enough of the bad jokes let's go to the to the combat. Now I personally really enjoy flying the fighters, the fighters are uh, truly awesome, quite agile, have some decent firepower, and they are fast. The bombers are really good when there's a lot of ground targets, and the bombers can be quite tanky in some cases. Now I am in a fighter, have dual 50 cal machine guns, or 7.62mm machine guns, and that was my... This is my first target. Now that is a, a bomber and they already did unload uh, the, the, the payload. So now I'm trying to trying to get them. And you know, if you can't shoot them down with with machine guns or rockets, just ram them. And that was the that was the first kill for today. That was kinda funny. Next I am in a fight and now the game has a lot of different, a lot of different planes available, and there is very little, uh, a limited amount of jets available. There is like I think one or two jet aircraft. All of the other aircraft have propellers, which honestly I, I don't mind. Propeller-driven aircraft are in some cases easier to fly, although the jets are uh, also awesome. That was a very nice kill there. We have more hostile aircraft in the sky trying to maneuver. Now there, there are some planes that turn very slowly, some planes turn very fast and there is no crew uh, level ups for aircraft at the moment since you know there is uh, the mode is still not really out. Okay where it is? Oh! Uh oh! Mid-air collision, lovely. Well I lost a piece of my wing and propeller. The enemy lost the whole wing and well my aircraft kind of my my plane kind of ended up uh, less damaged there. Next we have an another I think that's a bomber. Yeah it looks like a bomber they're trying to drop the bombs. Okay some nice hits. The sound is basically the indicator of uh, if you're hitting the target or not. And nice that was a good kill. Beautiful. They crashed. Now it could be that they just crashed on purpose, or it could be that uh, I did do enough damage to their tail so that they weren't able to maintain stable flight. We can basically shoot on the plane by destroying the wing, destroying the fins, shooting out the engine, killing the pilot, breaking the wings, breaking the fuselage. We have a lot of a lot of ways to destroy a plane, and that was very nice run there. Okay, let's go to the next one. We have... I think that's a bomber. Now usually the game does allow you to choose 
whether you want to be in a bomber or in a fight, I usually prefer to be a fighter, especially when the enemy team has a bomber in the air. It's basically, a, a, basically an easy kill, you know. Although, like I mentioned at the start of the video, the bombers can be quite tanky. Although, if you manage to kill the pilots, then, yeah, it's a very easy, easy target. And that one was also destroyed. Nice. Okay, let me see if I can find any lightly armored vehicle to shoot down. And when you kill the plane, when you kill the bomber or the other hostile fighter uh, fighter plane, you can focus on finding uh, lightly armored targets, and your machine guns can penetrate the armor of lightly armored vehicles, especially the SPAAs. You can easily go through their armor, but at the same time, you have to be careful because they can also they can also shoot you since SPAA are basically designed for anti-aircraft use. Okay, next, let's see, approaching the enemy. I have a lot of machine guns in this, uh, on this. I think this is a BF-109, not really sure what, uh, I haven't checked what aircraft this is. Or plane, let's just call them planes. Saying aircraft every five seconds is a bit weird. This is definitely, I almost, almost rammed it. Okay, well, let's keep on floating around. If I miss my opportunity with machine guns or rockets, I go for the ram, because why not? And there we go. That's, that plane got shot down. Beautiful. I got a kill. Let's see. That's a milk truck. Let's see if I can get the milk truck. Critical hit. And ah, I pulled out. I, I started to pull pull up way too late. Now, this is a bomber. Now, some bombers are kind of modified fighters, uh, so they have machine guns and they also sometimes, in most cases, do have tailwing gunners that can shoot behind you if there is an enemy. enemy fighter on your tail, the machine gun gunner can hopefully help at shooting them down. No, I dropped my bombs, target not hit, but I killed that, that plane, and yikes, that looked nasty. They did a fantastic job to capture the PC feel of air of planes in, in, the, in this version of the game. They really did a fantastic, fantastic work with, with the, with, with how the, 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 the vehicles look, I mean, the game is very pretty. Uh, the the models are highly detailed, and awesome, really. And of course, I got flanked when I'm pl when I'm playing as as a plane. Next target. Nice. That was a nasty one. That was a good hit. Oh, the the yeah, that's definitely a pilot kill since they're. The plane is still in the air. Well, now it's it's burning, and yeah, uh, that one is is destroyed. That was a good one. I love to fly planes with high caliber machine guns. 7.62 millimeters or 5.56. Usually, yeah, they don't do a lot of damage. Uh, the high caliber ones, they just they eat. They do so much when when you hit them, and it's very easy to break the parts of uh, of their of their fighter or or bomber. Next one. Trying to get no. You, when you are, when you have someone on your tail, move around. It, it really makes it difficult for the them to actually track you. Okay, that's that plane is burning. They are they took some damage. They might crash. Although let me do a loop. Okay there they are. Let's not crash in mountain. I will try they're still moving around. Okay, they crashed eventually. They did take enough damage and their plane wasn't able to maintain stable fight, so they crashed. 
And I'm about to crash as well. Yes, I was about to crash. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, let's uh, let's go to the the next one. I yeeted the plane at. I actually wanted to ram. No, it's it's funny because you can't really kill the enemy tank by ramming. Now that was actually quite awesome. Uh, we passed so close to each other that the top of my bomber scraped the bottom of his fighter. That was kind interesting. Would be funny if we collided. Okay, they're trying to get me. Let me. Uh, hello there. That was nice. Now it's yeah this this thing is huge and it doesn't really behave doesn't really maneuver like like a smaller fight, fighter plane this is a bomber not really made to chase faster fighters so what I'm doing here is quite stupid but you know I might even I might try to, to kill since I have quite a lot of machine guns and rock even the rockets on this thing and I, yeah there we go got blown up just enough just on time for my timer to run out. Next, tracking a enemy plane. Trying to shoot at long range. I did hit. I did hit sometimes. You have to rely on the audio in order to to hear if you hit them, since you won't really notice if you do. Okay, let's turn around. Okay, the enemy bomber crashed, or or something happened with it. It's uh, it's dead now. Let me see if I can get this fighter that's running around. I'm being shot by. Oh, okay. I was I was taliated by someone. Okay, fair enough. That was a nice one. Next, flying a bomber, approaching the. There is no. Yeah, no one on the enemy team decided to to fly, which is fine. When there is a bomber on the enemy team, and I think this is a dive bomber. Kind of forgot. I think this is a Stuka. I'm not really sure. It definitely looks like one. So. Yeah, this is a dive bomber since the the aim you can see the aiming sort of becomes more accurate when I go downwards. Basically, drop bombs on the targets and then pull the plane up. Since if you don't, you will crash. And yeah, that that tank was blown up. That was a SPAA. Okay, nice. We can technically wait for the bombs to reload, but since there is not enough time for that to happen, you'll drop the bombs and basically continue playing as a tank. Okay, and we won the match, I think. That was a victory, nice. A good one. A decent victory, not going to complain. Let's go to the next one. Okay, we have an enemy fighter. Or bomber. Uh, usually when I'm in a fight there is an enemy bomber in the sky. And oh nice. That was a nasty hit. Okay, let's fly back. There is one more aircraft. One more plane further down the road there. 25 seconds left on the timer. to get there on time and I'm going to be able to they turn around and they're fast. I'm going 394 km per hour, they are definitely going roughly the same. About the same. Did manage to land a couple shots but that's definitely far from enough from doing any uh, any damage and timer ran out. Oh well that was nice. Alright we have two planes in the sky. I think two fighters and they are stalking our bomber. That fighter is burning. So I think I did some good damage there. 
they can also be leaking fuel, be on fire, a lot of things can happen. And now it seems like they are... Yeah, they're crashing. Or not. They're not crashing. Not yet. Now they're on fire. And now they're definitely going to crash. No way that they, that they will continue flying with that damage. Yeah, they're crashing. Yeah. That was a good catch. That was a good catch. Next. Stalking the hostile bomber. They are going in for a bombing one. Let's hope. Let's prevent them from, from landing any bombs on our team. They already took some damage. Their, their plane is on fire. And this is what I'm talking about. So you can see that yeah, uh, they are leaking oil, they're leaking fuel. I have fuel on the windshield basically. But they're still flying, so haven't done enough damage. And I missed! I want to ram the I missed by, by just a little bit. Oh well, happens. Now I'm the bomber and I think I have... Oh actually no, there is no enemy on the radar. Okay, that's fine. I mean radar. World War II fighters or bombers didn't really have an, an advanced radar, but like later on they did have it. Let's try to drop bombs on the target. There we go. Bombs away. That's a huge bomb. Yeah, yeah. Yikes. And I got killed. Oh well, fair enough. The SPAA got me. And that's their purpose, their job basically. Okay. Lowering my altitude to 480 meters. So that I can accurately. So that I can more accurately drop the bombs. And now I'm basically gliding since I reduced the throttle all the way to zero. The engine is basically idling now. I have dropped the bombs. No, I did attempt to, to do something very dumb and land, but you are definitely not going to land with over 300 km per hour. And yeah, I ran into the tree and I got blown up, but I did kill at least one tank with the bomb, so it was worth it. Alright, let's go to the next one, another bombing run with, with this huge... Look at the size of this thing, this is huge. This thing is massive. I'm not going to be an easy target for the enemy. I'll be moving left and right and have the machine gunner shooting automatically, by the way. I think they'll improve the AI of the machine gunner, since on the PC version they do kill the... They do kill fighter quite often on the PC version and I think they'll, they'll definitely enhance the AI over here as well. Okay, next the bombing run. Let's see what happens here. No fighter on the radar. It means I can just focus on bombing the enemy. Now it is not that, uh, that easy to be bombed. If you are repairing or if someone uh, blew up your track, then... And it's actually quite easy to uh, to drop the bombs to a station target, but if the target is moving, it, it is a bit difficult and it can be quite challenging in case. If you are playing in a platoon, then that's going to be definitely much easier since you can focus on teamwork. Okay, I have launched the bombs and let me eat. There we go. Although you can't really kill a tank by ramming, it would be overpowered uh, if you could. Although technically you should, but I did manage to block one tank, so not going to complain about that. Next bombing run. There is one enemy plane. I think they're coming for me. Yeah, they are coming for me. You can see the tracers flying all over the place. I'll continue to fly towards the destination and drop the bomb. Oh, I think I have a very nice 
I almost crashed into the enemy fighter there. And let's... I pulled up too, too late. Yeah, I pulled up too late. Next bombing run. No one on the radar, which is good. Let me see, why should I drop the bombs? Left or right? I think I'll just go here. Or here. And I finished. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, and I got one thing, which is... Yeah, I got... I killed one. Perfect. Excellent. I also have to be careful not to kill a friendly. I know... I know I do get killed by friendly bombers all the time. Kind of annoying. And funny at the same time, but yeah, that's, that's how it is. I'm being followed by... by a fighter. But I did manage to slip by. And now let me... Drop the bombs, bombs away, and bombs away. Or not? Yeah, I did not. I, I dropped the bombs. Hopefully they do land or not. Well, it missed. Oh well. No, it didn't. I got one. Perfect. Nice. I did kill one tank. So it wasn't a, a failure. Next, we have a bomber. I think that's a bomber. FV19A. Yeah, that looks like a bomber. Or actually, no, it's a fighter. They are chasing our bomber. Did hit a couple times from a very long distance. But I have to approach. Well, let's see if I can nail this this plane. Target not hit. Okay then, guess not. But I'll chase until the end. I got hit from the ground. Someone was shooting at me. And I ran out of time. Oh well. Well, well, that was a very, that was a very nice, uh, very nice run. Definitely something different. Uh, I really cannot wait for the, um, for the air battles to be released, uh, since it's fun, and I know a lot of players are also waiting for the same thing. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to support me, feel free to like and subscribe. And with that being said, stay safe, fly safe in this case, and I'll see you next time.